Hi students, today we are going to discuss one more important short notes that is reason out questions, type questions, right? Why lipoprotein A, that is lipoprotein within bracket A is atherogenic? This is the question. Or lipoprotein A is atherogenic dot explain it. This is the question. You have to give the reasons for this statement. Number one is lipoprotein is attached always with B100 of apolipoprotein. You know very well, apo B100 is always involved in uh, involved with LDL, low density lipoprotein. So it is always associated with LDL. It is highly atherogenic and always correlated with myocardial infarction and heart attack. That is why this lipoprotein A is very very important. That too, this lipoprotein A is involved in young adult age group. That is 30 to 35, 30 to 40. The normal value of lipoprotein A is actually 30 milligram, 10 to 30 milligram per deciliter. If the level is more than 30 milligram per deciliter in young adult means, that is 30 to 40 age group, definitely they will go for myocardial infarction or a heart attack. That is why this is very, very important molecule for the young age group. Right. Actually, what happens normally? It has homology of plasminogen. We know very well about the role of plasminogen. Actually, this plasminogen is converted into plasmin and gets attached with the fibrin and go for the fibrinolysis. That is why the clot formation and bleeding will be stopped. What this excess lipoprotein A, that is more than 30 mg per deciliter of lipoprotein A, they will produce that is interferes with plasminogen activity. So definitely fibrinolysis will get affected. So after this plasminogen interpretation, the fibrinolysis will become reduced. That will produce intravascular thrombus or clot formation in the vessels. Then this thrombus, IV thrombus leads to myocardial infarction or heart attack. Right? So, the lipoprotein A interferes with the plasminogen activity, disturbance, disturbs the fibrinolysis, produces the intravascular clot or uh, thrombus that leads to myocardial infarction in young adults. Right? The level is 30 mg per deciliter. If it is more than 30 mg means they will go for myocardial infarction or heart attack. That is why LPA is a 